Top APC stakeholders may not work for Tinubu's candidacy, report says. And insecurity threatens the conduct of 2023 elections in 686 communities. This is Plus Politics. I am Mary Anakon. There are feelers that some chieftains of the All Progressive Congress APC who are on one way uh, and or the other unhappy with the presidential candidate of the ruling party, Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu. May, they may either sit on the fence or work against him come 2023 election. Now, media reports say that some stakeholders of the party fell out with the former Lagos state governor as he clinched the APC presidential tickets during the June 8, 2022 primary elections. Recall that prior to the party's national convention, which produced Asiwaju as APC flag bearer, the national chairman of the party, Senator Abdullahi Adamu, had announced Senate President Ahmed Lawan as the APC consensus presidential candidate. The move was, however, swiftly antagonized by some governors and the party members believed to be loyal to Asiwaju, who insisted on a southern presidency. Well, joining us to discuss this is Opunabo Inkotara. He's a civil rights advocate and Okewe Sharafa Omoele uh, is a legal practitioner. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for joining us. Good evening, Marianne, and uh, good evening, Nigerians. Great. Uh, Mr. Okewe, can you hear me? Yes, it's my pleasure to be on the program. Great. Um, I'm going to start with you because you obviously um, have some alliance with the All Progressive Congress. But tell me, um, what do you think exactly is going on within the party right now? Because as there are feelers that even the national chairman um, feels left out of the presidential um, campaign committee. Yes, you see, I understand that when we have a like the one that put Ashwaji Bola met a slight better of it, we should expect Little, little inside around, which I was told that the leadership of the party challenges, and we are on top of this. Mr. Kobe, I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm sorry, um, we're having connection issues with you. Your voice is going in and out. So if you if you're using it, yeah, an earpiece, would like would I like to advise that you do away with it because we're unable to hear you. But while we try to sort that out, Opunabo, let's talk about the things that led up to. Bola Ahmed Tinubu emerging as the APC's flag bearer, and what's uh, transpiring right now within the party? Now, first and foremost, um, it is obvious, quite apparent, that Bola Ahmed Tinubu was not the preferred candidate to a lot of persons. First, we are talking of President Mahmoud Ubari himself, and I can bolster that assertion based on his outburst uh, in one of the Western states. Then we talk of um, the, the national chairman of the party, and few other persons. But because Bola Tinibu is seen as uh, a political god to a lot of persons, you know, so what really happened was that aficionados came together to ensure his emergence as a presidential candidate. And I can tell you that this led to a lot of lethargy within, excuse me, within the party. A lot of people are not happy. And what set up that situation was that Bola Ahmed Tinubu, I think, from, from what I glean, is becoming vindictive. All those who were advanced to his images as a presidential candidate are being treated with levity. And that is why, even before now, the national chairman of the party had to cry out to say he has been sidelined, he has been marginalized. And that is why you have the problem you're having right now in the party. It is more or less like a divided house. Those who are still loyal to Bola and Tinibu and those who ensured his emergence as a candidate of the party and those who were not loyal to him but ordinarily would have accepted him back for him, in quote. Um, are you still there? High handedness. Okay. A lot of persons, and that is why right. And that is why right. a lot of persons uh, today are a little bit listless 
when it comes to the uh, uh, ambition of Bola and Tinubu, and I think that has created a schism in the past. Let me let me talk about the presidential um, campaign commis commission. As much as we hear that the party national chairman says that he's running, these are the words of the national chairman, that he, Bola Tinubu, is running a one-man show. We also hear that the vice president, Yemi Shibajo, um, opted out, uh, according to reports. In fact, an APC uh, chieftain, Dr. Martin Zappe, spoke to a newspaper, National News Daily, uh, saying that the vice president actually rejected the offer to be included uh, in the recently released APC Presidential Campaign Council. So rightly, as you have said, there are certain feathers that have been ruffled. But the vice president, one would think, um, who somewhat is, you know, someone from Lagos who also has some close relationship with the presidential candidate, does that not bother you? No, it doesn't bother me at all. I mean, it is, it is uh, expected. Because, uh, like I said, Bola Tinibu is being, right now, it, 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 the perception is that he's being vindictive. Don't forget the snide comments he made about the vice president when he was asked if um, concerning his son, and he said his son was not going to contest, and so on. And don't also forget that the vice president was under a whole lot of, that, that was this outpouring of vials of vitriol against the vice president or the vice president uh, for daring, so to speak, to contest. And so the vice president knows that there is no love lost between uh, he and Ahmed, uh, Ahmed Tinibu. He knows too well. And so there was no point in deceiving yourself because lukewarm acceptance is much more bewildering than outright rejection. So it, I think it's on that premise that he just felt, what should I be doing there? And this is the man that is the sitting vice president, and tomorrow, by the special grace of God, as the special grace of God, because some are dying in office, by the special grace of God, will become a former vice president. The only person that will be above such a person is the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The man will be entitled to uh, all the specs of office, so to speak, until the day he dies, as a former vice president when eventually he exists. So, what else again? Why will he have to come? Why will he have to compromise his dignity? So these are some of the burning questions and some of the issues that will be flitting through his mind. Why do I have to go and compromise my dignity? What to have? Even if today I'm a member, and don't forget the issue of 2020 presidential election will be local based. So being a member of the presidential campaign council is just a thing of prestige. It is actually those that are going to do the work at those at the local government level. And the vice president does not need that prestige. The only prestige, the only feather you can add to his cap is being the president of the country. What okay. other prestige does he need? So a man who has that dignity will say, let me not go and compromise my dignity. Mm. Well, what else do I need in this life? If Tinibu becomes the, the president of the federal of Nigeria tomorrow, so be it. He does what he can do. He cannot stop my last. He cannot do anything. Even if tomorrow, because if he abuses office by telling whoever to stop the alarm, which will be a subject of litigation anyway, because the vice president himself is a professor of law and a senior advocate of Nigeria. Mm. So even if he goes ahead to abuse his office, does it stop the, uh, 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 the entitlement of Mr. Vice President? The issue is that, to be, because the vice president to that to speak is one man that is highly respected in okay. the country. Highly respected in the country. So okay. even if you stop it, he knows that one is for a period, maximum of eight years, if I thought Tinubu wins, which I strongly doubt, it's going to be a maximum of eight years and a subject of litigation. But then, after which, he will still be. That will not in any way affect his integrity okay. and credibility and dignity. So okay. that's why he will just tell you no. And he cannot be seen to be running around. Running around. In, in the the, 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 the corporates can never be innocent in the garden of fowls. Okay. In the garden of fowls. It can never be innocent. Okay. So there's no point in losing yourself to say you want to be a member of the presidential council when you know that you are being accepted in a lukewarm manner. Let me bring Mr. Moyele back into the conversation. Mr. Moyele, you've heard what Tupunabo has said, and of course... I'd yes, like, I'm, I'm, yes, I heard what he said. I'd like to, I, I, again, I'd like to hear from you why you think, uh, or why, rather, the national chairman would think that Tinubu is running a one-man show, as opposed <coughs> to those who he has released in the list of people that might make the presidential uh, um, campaign council. Well, so my mind, I think um, what people are saying about national chairman of APC um, claiming 
that Ashwari Bala Ahmed Tinubu is running a one-man show is not true. Because it's going to be practically impossible for a man to sit down and draw the list of uh, distinguished Nigerians of about 400 in number. That is not possible. I'm aware that the partners, party leaders, as well as members of the Federal Executive Council and the party hierarchy were involved in generating the names that constitute Presidential Campaign Council of APC. And let me say this. It's expected when you have a beautiful bride for everybody to be interested in partaking in achieving the goal and desire of that project. And that's why we are having people saying what they are saying. But I confirm to you, it's not true. At the present candidate of APC. Hello? We can hear you. Go ahead. We can hear you clearly, my brother. Exactly. He's a tested, trusted, and experienced politician who has paid his dues. And in the area of constituting a composing campaign committee or campaign council, it's not a lily liver. So I'm saying this for us to have this understanding that it's just the figment of the imagination of those who are trying to run down the present candidates of APC. If you look at the people that I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Um, um, I am sure you're telling me. You're telling me that the national chairman and members of the party which or who voted for Bola Metinubu are, are jealous, are detractors, are people who are trying to bring him down? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to understand. Why would the party go through all that trouble that. to have him as their flag bearer that. and then, in your words, try to bring him down? Please make it make sense. I'm trying to understand you. I, I, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that the national chairman of APC cannot and did not and will not claim that Ashwari Bela Ahmed Tinobu was running a one-man show because every party leadership, party, party leaders and stakeholders were involved in the selection of members of PCC of APC. So now everybody was now saying the national chairman said that. I want to say that's not true. It cannot be true. Because the composition, if you run through the list, it cut across all the strata of APC in Nigeria. And every interest is presented. So it is clear that those who are saying that are the adversaries. They are the opposition. They are trying to create problems where there's none. I'm confirming to you, in the episode of today, there's no division. Okay. All of us are one, and we are working towards ensuring that Anjibala Ahmed Tinubu becomes the next president of the Okay. Okay. Now, just as I said before we lost you, um, an APC chieftain, his name is out here in, you know, in full print, uh, Dr. Martins Abbe, who spoke with the National Daily, said, and I quote, that the vice president, Professor Yemi Sibajo, actually rejected an offer to be part of the PCC. Again, the vice president and um, one of the presidential aspirants, um, the former minister of transportation, um, Mr. Rotimi Amechi, both of them do not have confidence, reportedly, in the Bola Ahmed Tinubu presidency, hence them sitting on the fence and not having anything to do with the well, campaign. So I'm just, I just want to ask you, what do you think the relationship okay. is between these two men and your presidential candidate? There is no problem between the Ashwari Bala Ahmed Tinubu and our distinguished professor of law, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, and our uh, right honorable Chiboche uh, Amechi. Nothing. Now, you have been told that Vice President Oshibajo will be left to see the day-to-day -day running of the government of Nigeria. We should not forget, President Mohadou Buhari is the chairman of APC-PCC. And it's considered the opinion of the leadership of APC that it will be wrong for the president to be that deep involved in our campaign at the expense of governance. 
And he now said it would be better for vice president to be allowed to be overseen the day-to-day -day running of Nigerian government, which I think is reasonable, which I think is sensible, which I think is responsive to the reality of the Nigerian situation. And in the case of Right Honorable Chibuke Amechi, I'm confirming to you, he has no issue, personal, official, or anything we can think of with either Senator Bola Metinubu or the party or the PCC. Nothing okay. that is not included now does not mean that mm -hmm. me that is not consulted. The lead generator from River State was submitted by him to the national leadership of the party. Okay. So he's involved. Okay. Don't forget, the last time he was the DG of our campaign. But today, it's not the DG. And other such a person should be given a role, never patron or leader of the campaign council. So I'm assuring Nigeria that APC is one. Our leaders are together in unison with our candidates okay. to ensure that come 2023, APC wins the presidential election. Quickly, I'm going to go to Punabu and then I'll ask you the same question, both gentlemen. Now, from the reports, it's being said that um, former River State Governor um, Rotimi Amechi is still very angry with the party on what played out during the APC primary. And it was a shock to him and other Nigerians. He said, um, well, um, that Osibanjo and Lawa may work for the presidential candidate of the party, stating that those who want the country to work again will not jeopardize another four years uh, in the hands of people who they believe cannot deliver. That's one. I want you to quickly comment on the video that recently emerged of your presidential candidate. Now, most people uh, had commented on the fact that he'd, he'd been disappearing from public events um, and his vice president had been the one representing him. And of, of course, the one that raised the most alarm was the fact that the, during the peace pact signing, he was nowhere to be found. And then a video emerged over the weekend. I'll ask you. Was it necessary for that video to be put out, or was it just poor PR? Sorry, uh, well, you, you said your political party. I don't understand that. Maybe no, no, no. I, was, I, was to, I, was asking, um, I was asking Mr. Moyele. All right. Okay. okay. Now, we must understand that Vice President of Nigeria is a member of APC, and he has no reason to work against the party. And I'm confirming to you that there's no issue between him and Ashali Bola Metinobu as far as the composition of PCC of the is concerned. That is not included as not mean that APC as a party is polarized. Our governors are solidly behind the candidate of the party okay. and are in support of the list of members of PCC, because the list were actually submitted on state basis by the governor. The presidential candidate... Okay, be because we're running out of time, Mr. Moyele, quickly comment on the health of your candidates and the question I ask, so that um, we can have Opunabo wrap this up for us. Go ahead. Well, then, uh, actually, Bala Ahmed Tinubu is ill and active, as, as we could see in the workout videos that has gone viral. So, show that nothing on tours has happened to him. But there are people who are out to paint him in a very bad light, how to discredit him in the mind of Nigerians, to show that it's not healthy, it's not fit, it's not proper. Do you not, think, do you not, think, do you not think that putting out that video in the first place to prove anything to Nigerians, one way or the other, raises an eyebrow? I mean, if the man was hale and hearty, why does he need to put out a video? Yeah, I, hope, I, I hope you will not cut That video that he was doing a workout is not meant for somebody who is not healthy to show that it's fit and proper okay. to embark on massive campaign okay. for presidential election 2023. All right. And I think it's fit. Nigeria. Nigeria, of course, is this. It's only God who can determine the um, fitness the ability of somebody at wife. Okay. And it's only God because because and we do not have time, I would like to, I, I would really like for Opunabo to comment because we don't have time. Opunabo, please come in. Okay. Let me quickly say this. Uh, on the issue of this other person, of course, 
we are human beings and we are prone to human frailty. So if you don't have that spirit of sportsmanship in you, when you lose an election, there is that tendency of being of begrudging the victor. So probably this was has informed the actions of certain persons. But to say that persons are not agree, yes, I might decide not to leave a political party because I'm agree, but by the inside I'm be lethargic. I'm not showing any interest at all whatsoever is, is uh, whatever is uh, uh, interest with whatever is going on in that party. That is probably the situation in the APC. And I think that's what On the issue of the health, I listened to my brother carefully when he said, God is the only one to determine. Yes, I strongly agree. As Christians, of course, we say God determines. But even God has given the medical doctors the knowledge and power to just also decide who is sound medically or not. Now, I will not go into the veracity or apocryphalness of the claim of uh, my brother concerning the issue of the unity in the party. I will not want to go into that because we have all kinds of contradictory statements emanating from party bigwigs. But having said this, the issue of Bola Ahmed Tinibu's health, I can tell you and I can say unequivocally, is the fact that the man is not medically sound and there are so many issues to bolster this assertion. We are all aware, we are cognizant of even when uh, uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu was visited in London by even the vice president when he was in hospital. Now, a lot of persons might dismiss this by saying nobody, there is nobody that does do false. But there is a great distinction. I'm using this hypothetically. I'm not saying that is what Bola Tinubu is suffering from, please, so that I am not quoted out of context. But there's a great distinction between fever. There's a great distinction between malaria and cancer. So you cannot say everybody must fall sick. Nobody is insulated from sickness. Therefore, you're going to compare the man that has cancer with the man that has malaria. For crying out loud, what is going on now dredges up the sudden past of Yaradua. What happened to Yaradua? We all saw where Yaradua was allegedly playing squash. And the order was affected by IBM, uh, sorry, uh, 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 who, when the, the controversy surrounding the health of Yaradua was placed on the front burner, in order to dismiss it, mm. they now, they now showed video of Yaradua playing squash. And we all knew what eventually happened. We also saw recent, in the recent time, which is still ongoing, present, contemporary, that of Muhammad Ubuari, who is constantly, who has constantly been back to the southern, to the US, to the UK and Saudi Arabia for medical reasons. We have now, to go. Tinibu, we have videos of Tinibu where he was looking for a trail in the United Kingdom and okay. the United States and so on. Now, you have that picture of Bola Ahmed Tinibu. have to go. In order, in order to polarize the argument that Bola Ahmed Tinibu is ill. Otherwise, why do you have to publish that? Why do you have to print, show that? Uh, to, to the world, just because you want to dismiss the fact of his illness. But we all know, even at the PCC uh, con uh, inauguration that was postponed, on what grounds are you going to postpone the inauguration? Okay, all right. All right, open up. We, 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 we have to go. We have to go. We hear you, but we have to go. Our time is fast spent. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Dupunabo Inko Tyre is a right to advocate. He's a political analyst. Okewe Sharafa Omaele is a legal practitioner and is also a representative of the APC. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for being part of this conversation. Thank you, Marianne, and good evening, Nigerians. All right. Well, thank you all for staying with us. We'll take a short break. When we return, we'll be talking about the level of insecurity in the country and how it might play out during the 2023 election. Stay with us.